militia. Mm. Explain what is going on. Why is your party losing their mind about Taylor Swift? All I'm seeing on Twitter is Republicans losing their mind about Taylor Swift. The best one, the best one was there was this great clip of some Republican saying, oh, this is a put up job. Joe Biden is behind this. This whole relationship with Travis Kelsey is a it's a false flag operation trap. What? Alicia, what? What? Why? Let me just first point out that it wasn't some Republican that started this. It was a Fox News host. <laughs> Two millions of people. <laughs> I think I have to direct my ire on this situation at Donald Trump. Donald, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> and now we've got some bad blood going on. But I'm going to try shake it off. For the sake of the Super Bowl. <laughs> Can we just golf clap Alicia? That was great. Did you think did you do that on the spot or did you No, think actually that? that was off the cuff. I didn't even think about that. I've just been having fun. Oh, no. I've been oh, having fun gosh. with this whole concept. Um, so okay. Great. So I was rooting for the Chiefs. They won. And then all of a sudden, that very night, Twitter explodes that I'm supposed to boycott the Super Bowl. And I didn't understand why. And apparently it's because a player on Kansas City is dating Taylor Swift who in 2020 endorsed Biden, and therefore I have to boycott the Super Bowl. Now, this seems like a lot of work to me about who, what games I'm going to watch. I mean, so I have to go through every player on every roster. Does coaching staff count? Do cheerleaders count? Not only do I have to find their political persuasion, I have to now look into their boyfriends, their girlfriends, their spouses, I don't know, their mom. I'm not sure. So it seems like a lot of work I have to go through in order to decide whether I'm allowed to watch a football game. What about the manhood of these Republicans is so threatened by Taylor Swift. I saw Don Jr. doing one of his um, uh, coke addled things where he, oh, oh, did I say that out loud? Yeah, the, yeah. the guys, <laughs> he's definitely on drugs, okay? And he did one of these very weird, like- it And does we're not talking like, gummy bears. No, it really <laughs> seems no, to be- No, these are not I, gummies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the man, this just came to light, that, uh, that the, the House, there are all these records from the Trump White House they were prescribing serious narcotics to someone in the White House. We don't know who. Anyway, that, that's another story. But Don Jr. went on one of these things where he's like, I would advise Taylor Swift not to endorse Joe Biden. Why would you wade into politics like this? And it's like, this is only going to hurt her, ha make half the country mad at you. Oh, really? Taylor oh, doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. Th thanks for your business advice, moron, <laughs> as the Trump organization is about to be dissolved. It's going to be given the uh, business death penalty in New York because you're all a bunch of fraudsters. Uh, that's great guidance. Taylor Swift is doing fine. The Eras Tour <laughs> paid $5 billion. Like, I think she she's okay. actually is worth more than Donald Trump. And he's saying, oh, this will hurt her. This will hurt mm -hmm. her career. Mm -hmm. Oh, like like it did when she endorsed Joe Biden in 2020. Yeah, sign me up for more of that. I mean, is, I want is, more losing ooh, Taylor Swift style. Hurt. I want to lose yeah. as much as Taylor Swift is losing right the now. I, I would dream hurt. of it. Oh, you um, referenced the emasculinity of the people going after Taylor Swift. Wait, did you just say masculinity or emasculinity? Emasculinity. That's fantastic. You just made up another great word. You're on a roll. I should what? write for Webster's. Did you take some gummies of some kind this morning? Like this is this is amazing. You're like free associating your way to brilliance. <laughs> Only mm. the Haribo kind, which isn't nearly as good as others. I yes, hear. Of there's actually. something about Taylor Swift that is emasculating these men who have a lot of SDE. It, what it is very simple. I'm just going to say it. This is going to be very offensive to almost everybody out there, but it's a fact. Oh, good. Everyone is jealous of Taylor Swift. These men, their wives don't look like Taylor Swift. They're not as talented as Taylor Swift. And let me tell you something before the pod, you mentioned her red lipstick. Every woman is jealous because until you hit like 77, you cannot pull off bright red lipstick. It's impossible. You have to be like Taylor Swift to pull that off. And she not only pulls it off, she owns it and it's fabulous. So the reality is men are jealous that their wives are nothing looking like Taylor Swift, acting like Taylor Swift, or as wealthy and successful as taylor swift women are jealous of her because obviously she's taylor swift and therefore everyone's hating on taylor swift and yet we'll spend five thousand dollars for a seat to her concert what is it so paul you think it's jealousy too that donald trump just can't wrap his tiny hands around this issue i mean he's bringing up he, his tiny hands he's, well, trying well, to wrap he's the one who started it he's trying to wrap his tiny hands around the issue now what issue is he wrapped okay 
Yeah. I mean, he likes to be the, he's, he likes to be number one. And frankly, she's number one. She's times person of the year. She's richer than he is. She's better looking than he is. She's younger than he is. She's in better shape than he is. I mean, she and Travis look happy. He and Melania are nowhere. I mean, what's not to be jealous about? Plus, she's not facing 91 felony counts and having to spend seven hours every day doing her makeup like he is. I mean, it's, of course, he's jealous of her because she's bigger than he is. Can I tell you a fun fact? When Donald Trump agreed to do the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump about 10 years ago, he said that they could make fun of everything about him. They could make fun of his weird hair. They could make fun of his Game of Thrones-like embrace of his daughter. They could make fun of his very odd media career. They could make fun of everything. The only thing they were not allowed to make any jokes about was to impugn his wealth. They could not imply that he was actually poorer than he claimed to be. He's very sensitive about this. I think a lot of it isn't just that she's a young, successful woman. That's part of it. I think it's that she has made serious bank. She probably is worth more than he is at this point. And he finds that very threatening. Republicans, please keep attacking Taylor Swift. Keep <laughs> saying that she's terrible. Keep saying that anyone who's with Taylor Swift needs to be against Trump. I invite you. I just, I want that. Um, 